Hi, welcome to Ten Commandments. Peace out there. This is Heather, or you can call me Queen. I'm kind of pooped out, y'all. I'm doing boring laundry. Mm-hmm. It's been really something, y'all. Oh my god, my hair. <sighs> I'm trying to see what I could do. But this is not working out. I gotta keep trying, y'all. And tomorrow I have to go to my company's office. I take care of some things. And then I have to take a test, I think. So that's gonna be kind of lovely and boring. Then I'm gonna get that over with in the morning. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's got really cloudy. <sighs> so... You know, I mean, it may look like I'm heading towards success, y'all, and that I'm doing well, but please don't be jealous of me because you're wasting your time. Like I said in my other videos, we are all on our own path. I wish people would stop being so jealous of me, okay? I didn't get this far and go through a lot easy. Okay, while everybody else was doing right and doing well, I'm over here struggling. I'm over here on the food lines. I'm over here pinching pennies, you know, and eating popcorn day by day or eating, you know, crackers and crying at midnight and fighting all these war for prayers over not my life only, but my family life, trying to remove this generational curse off our families. It has not been easy. And going through one problem after the next and not being noticed of my hard work, being, um, you know, overlooked at the workplaces and many jobs. I'm talking many. And I really bust my ass and I really brought them business with the prayers of God. So, you know, don't you dare think if I ever make it to the top, then I made it there. It's simple and easy. Because that's a big fat lie from the devil. The devil's a liar, a thief, and a destroyer. Remember that. And he's even sent people to try to harm me and kill me. This shit is real, y'all. Don't ever judge people. Don't ever judge. You don't know what they're going through. I may look good on the outside, but I am suffering. And I'm going through pain and agony. And I don't appear like it because I don't want to affect anyone and take it out on anyone. Do not judge people. You never know who you're talking to. Please don't do that. I'm going to give you an example today. I saw this little boy. I was in line waiting to get my hot dog. And he was so cute. And I told the mother, I hope he grows up to be a tall basketball player. And you know what she just told me? She said... His father is a just finished professional basketball. And I was like, get out of here. What? Yeah, y'all. And she was not lying. So you never know who you're talking to. You have to really watch your behavior. You have to be try to compose at your best behavior everywhere you go. And people out there, please. You need to stop. You need to stop. Because the Lord keeps giving me this information that people are holding Jezebel spirits, uh, doing witchcraft, spells, going to spend, I mean, a lot, a lot of money. It's all going to go in vain. Use that money for yourself, go on a trip somewhere, because it's just a waste of money. I'm an anointed, and no one out there could steal my anointing. Okay, nobody could steal anyone's anointing. If you want anointing, you can only get it from heaven. You can only get it from the Lord. And you have to serve him, and you have to kiss his butt night and day. And it's not easy. I get tired of it, to be honest with you. He gets on my nerves. I fight with him just like a human. <laughs> I don't get off of me. Please stop it. He bothers me. This is not real. He's with me all the time. Can you imagine someone being with you 24-7? That's what I have to put up with. I don't even think a husband, wife, or boyfriend, girlfriend. 24-7. Seven days out of the week. 365 days. 
<sighs> so you guys don't understand what I'm going through. Now he's got to prove to everybody that he's on me, he with me, and, you know, to get his glory. And I'm like, God, I really don't care. <laughs> you know, I just want to get on with my life. And he wants to prove me, and then he just... He wants to define me and refine me and all this stuff. Keep me apart from people. And, and I'm just like, come on. Not everyone's bad. He's protecting me, you know. And it's very lonely, isolating, and boring. So how the hell could someone be? I don't get it. Be jealous of a boring lady. My life is boring, y'all. Don't be jealous of me. Stop it. Snap out of it. Focus on your own life. Better yourself. And stop worrying about other people. Stop being busy bodies. We're seven minutes of this video. Oh, now I'm hearing my ex-boyfriend is crying. He's got swollen eyes. He regrets doing what he did to me. Oh, well. You can continue to pray for me to come back to you. You could continue all you want. Dude, I can't make any damn plan clear. Set me free. I'm not going back together with you. Damn, I can't even believe how badly I got taken for granted. It's awful. Women out there, it's better to be single and lonely. Be tormented being lonely than being lonely in a relationship. Because these men are crap now. Yeah, I went there. You men do not appreciate what you have until you lose it. And just what if, you know, she finds something better. You cannot take that chance. When you have a good woman, you need to recognize it. And you need to jump when she tells you to come and help her at her aid. Not making all these damn excuses. You got to show that you care. You have to show your love and take actions. This man never took enough actions. And men, yeah, you do need to still treat women for dinner. Because we don't get paid as much as you do. And we have to get our hair done, our nails done for you. Trying to look good for you. It's more expensive for a woman. And nails and eyebrows... And fingernails have gone up. They're double. So you better count your pennies. If you don't have enough to take them out, stay home. Stay your broke ass home. If you don't have at least 150, this is for your average men out there. I'm giving advice to you. Stay your broke ass home. Don't even ask a woman out on a date. If you cannot afford to pay for it. And women, make sure you have your money with you just in case he um, doesn't pay your meal. Because by law, each person has to pay their meal. You can go to jail. What if he skips on you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all really need to stop complaining that the woman is taking advantage of you. I met a mature master degree woman the other day. She was very attractive, y'all. She had no interest in men. And she said, I've been single by choice for three to five years. And I was like, wow. She had no interest. She said, a young man tried to flirt with her, an older man. And she blew them both off. This woman don't play. And she earns like 85 grand a year. She don't have time for games. She don't want no boy. She wants a man. And she said, girl, these men still need to treat us. I want to be treated like a queen. I want the man to hold the door for me. Because I'm old school and I'm old fashioned. You young generation women don't have no respect for yourselves. You should have the man open the door for you. Because you're a princess. And we all deserve respect and, and be treated right. Okay, y'all. We are 10 minutes this video. I'm doing my countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Have a wonderful evening. Oh my God, my hair looks terrible. I hope that when I see you again, I have a different hairstyle or something. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I love you, but Jesus loves you better. Subscribe. Please put that thumbs up and share. Peace. Bye-bye.